Hey, this is Sasha, and I want to welcome you to the Butterfly course. And in this course, what we're going to do is focus on trading the Butterfly spread, which is basically an option spread that allows you to make money from time decay, volatility, or even a direction of the stock move. So you have a multiple ways that you can make money. And if you've traded Iron Condors before, the Butterfly is going to be very similar. We'll go over that here in a future, future video about how similar they are. Butterfly spreads is basically a construction of vertical spreads. You take two, two verticals, you put it together, and that's where you get the butterfly spread. But we'll talk more about that in more detail here soon. The point behind the butterfly spread and why it's so powerful is that you can make money from time decay, just like you can with many other option spreads like iron condors, calendars, double diagonals. But the butterfly spread, you're able to generate a lot of fast data decay. That's one of the greatest advantages to a butterfly spread is that you're selling premium, twice the amount of premium right there, usually at the money. And that allows the time decay to be very rampant and very quick. If you think about buying option contracts, when you buy a put and you buy a call for maybe a directional move down or up, um, in this case, it's very expensive because the time decay keeps losing money time and time again. Every single day you lose money just by holding on to those spreads because you're a buyer. With a butterfly spread, you're a seller right there at that sweet spot, at the money or nearly at the money or wherever you choose on your strikes, you can make them bullish or bearish, but wherever that point is, is that time decay is extremely fast and rapid. And because of that, it allows you to really uh, go outside the range of the expiration curve with a butterfly. Many people, you know, with an iron condor, your T plus zero or your line kind of stays in that range in its own box. With a butterfly spread, it allows it to go outside of the range, which is known as the bleed. And that makes it also very, very extremely interesting to create and construct these trades. So when you look at the butterfly spread, one of the tips that I will give you is that watch how the curve behaves, the current today curve, the T plus zero line. Watch how it behaves more so than looking at the expiration curve. That's, I think, is where people fall into a pitfall with butterflies because they think, hey, well, it looks a little tight or compressed or I can't make a lot of money. Um, but really, the curve usually goes outside of the range. That's kind of uh, tip number one. Uh, the second thing is, remember, you're not going to be in the trade uh, till expiration. 99% of the time, more than likely, you're not going to be there till expiration. So to increase your chance of success and your probabilities, you're going to be in the trade a little bit less. So if you're doing a 10 day trade, you might be in the trade only three days. If you're doing a 40 day trade, you might be in the trade 20 days. That's just a rough guideline. It just depends on, you know, obviously the type of trade you have set up, but that's another way to increase probabilities. So anyways, thank you so much for joining me um, in, in getting this course. We're going to cover a lot of material. And in order for us to do that, you really got to have your thinking hat on, stay focused on the course, on the material. Uh, option trading is not an easy business. That's why a lot of the videos that I have are detailed and long, because if you really want to get this stuff, if you really want to understand this stuff, you got to dig into it. And that's what we're going to do in this course. We're going to dig into the world of butterflies and how they work, how they're constructed, how they behave and much more. And what you'll be able to do at the end of this course is kind of make it your own. You'll be able to play around with strategies. Now, you still might not have a strategy that fits your style. Um, for example, you'll, ha you'll see a bunch of different strategies, but you might have four strategies that work for you or that you like, and that might be the ones that fit for you. And it's important that you start experimenting with the different strategies so you can figure out which ones you like better because you won't really know that till you try them five or 10 times. And you'll see, hey, this one, I kind of like that one. Or I don't like the weeklies. I like the longer duration. Or I like the broken wing, but I don't like the balance. So everybody's a little bit different. And that's what I want you to do as we continue moving forward throughout this course is once you're done with it, start experimenting with strategies. So that way you can see what is it that's going to work for you or what isn't. Now, for some people, they like to go ahead and get some one-on-one -on -one coaching. So that way we can fine tune some things because now you'll have a good baseline with butterflies. You'll have a really good understanding. You'll see some trade examples, but then you start doing them and you say, ah, I still got some questions. Ah, this wasn't as clear, or I'm not really sure where you get a little confused on how to make it your own. And that's really where the coaching comes in is because, you know, just because you know how to do something doesn't mean you can really craft it in your own or that kind of thing. So uh, what we do with the coaching side of things is really just make it your own and show you a different way to look at things or maybe approach it. So 
Anyways, let's take a look at what we have here coming up in this course. And I want to show you, uh, this course is pretty lengthy. Uh, it's one of the more detailed courses that I have. And as we look at things, we'll have a couple of things here to talk about. Uh, this is right now we're in the introduction part, but in the next module, we'll take a look at how a butterfly spread makes you money and how it's constructed. We'll look at the business of those things and a portfolio breakdown. How do you build a portfolio when it comes to butterflies and how, where do they fit in? We'll look at building a 50,000 portfolio, $50,000 portfolio example, um, and then building a portfolio with butterfly spreads on a trading platform. We'll look at butterfly basics and how it's constructed. We'll look at calls versus puts when trading uh, butterfly spreads and also an iron butterfly spread and how it's similar to a regular butterfly spread. We'll look at how wide a butterfly spread uh, should be, meaning you know how far out should you get on the on the wings. So if you're doing a butterfly spread like this, okay, well, do you get the wings, let's say uh, right here? or further down or somewhere here like how how wide do you get into that butterfly spread so that's what we'll take a look at as well we'll look at how it's similar to an iron condor and really you've got kind of two verticals so here you've got this vertical here and then you've got the other vertical on this side which is kind of here and that's what makes a butterfly spread we'll look at the differences between a butterfly spread and a calendar and when to kind of maybe use one or the other um, after a while, what we'll do is we're going to start getting into a little bit more complicated things, uh, such as maybe uh, we'll start looking at variations. So think of this as like, hey, level two stuff, uh, meaning second, second degree of butterflies, variations of different butterfly spreads, selling a butterfly spreads, uh, the risks involved and when to do it versus buying, because typically we buy a butterfly spread. And then we'll get into the Greeks. Uh, when we get into the Greeks, this is where a lot of confusion lies. So I went ahead and broke all these down into different sections for you. Uh, even a big picture, uh, looking at even at a neutral setup, what does it mean to be neutral? So this is a really detailed section because this is where I find a lot of people have struggled. So always ref refer back to these videos here. We'll look at, you know, maybe if you're losing money on butterfly spreads, but you don't know why, what's, what should you look at? Um, theta advantage to trading butterfly spreads, which I kind of mentioned just now uh, in the video as well. And then we'll take a look at um, why butterfly spreads are great for directional bets and how to use them for earnings and events because they're very cost effective trades. That's one of the greatest advantages to butterfly spreads is because you got such a big theta decay at, on those at the money spreads that you can really make a um, nice cheap directional bet on like earnings. We'll look at some other things as well here like finding good vehicles to trade. We'll look at also uh, cheap versus expensive stocks uh, on the butterfly spreads and starting a position when the VIX is low or high, short duration versus long duration, how long you should hold on to your butterfly spreads trade, how to plan out a trade step by step, and this is where we're starting to get into more trade concepts. So let's take a look at that here and uh, kind of the next level of, of stuff. Because the rest of the videos here, what we're doing is we're going into looking at kind of creative strategies and looking at strategy ideas. So here's a strategy idea for you. Uh, as we take a look at this, this is a balanced butterfly for non-directional. Here's another strategy idea, speculative earnings directional butterfly. So we break down the construction of it. Uh, we'll look at a strategy idea of mixing in diagonals to reduce the negative vega. And then there's, you know, trade examples within these. Uh, so you can see here we did one on Monster and DYND and Snap. I try to do a few different ones here and there, different stocks so you get different ideas. Here's another couple of strategy ideas. Broken wing, unbalanced. We do long investment, broken wing, butterfly. Um, so, and then within those, you can see some more trade examples. So here's kind of double butterfly examples because there's another strategy on a double butterfly. And of course, there's many more strategies. Uh, supernova, weekly butterfly, short duration. So you can see there's a couple of them. There's a drag racer, kind of, again, short duration, uh, weekly, um, Butterflies, so you can see there's kind of a couple of 17 day examples. So many, many um, uh, different examples there on the trade. So that's kind of the, the last 30% of the course is just we're doing butterfly examples. So the first part is kind of the introduction uh, right here. We're going to go in 
and do kind of the basics to the butterfly spreads. Then we'll get into kind of some inter intermediate level stuff. Then we'll look at more like portfolio basis. How does this kind of apply to your portfolio uh, adjustments and that kind of stuff. And then in here we look at the actual trades and I kind of count backwards and do strategy ideas for you as well. Going from putting on a trade from let's say 45 days out, you'll see some of these are kind of 45 days out. Others are kind of 31 days out and then we just kind of go day 30, then day 27. You know, I might skip a few days if it's longer duration or day 22. And then you'll get to see how it performs. On the shorter term duration, like 18 days, we probably go 18, 17, 16. Maybe then we hop to 12 or something like that uh, with the weekend. But, but overall, those have a little bit more days that are back to back because they are shorter duration. But other than that, um, that's really the course. That's where we're gonna go with and um, go through uh, as far as our plan is. And sometimes uh, if I get any feedback and you guys tell me you're missing a module to saying, hey, I'd love to see more of this or more of that, we might throw one in here or in there or something like that. So just let me know if you feel like anything is missing or there's a better concept that needs to be explained in more detail. Um, and then we can go ahead and do that and kind of add it in and make it kind of that version two or 1.5 or whatever. So anyways, that's our curriculum. That's our plan. That's what we're looking to do. And, uh, you know, be patient with me because if you think it's a little slow at the beginning, make sure you understand the basics really, really well. Even if you think you know butterflies, make sure you really have the core because later on we'll build on those concepts as we move forward uh, in the modules and in the course. And, uh, and then we start accelerating things. If, if you're struggling with it, uh, then take, take your time and be a little more patient to digest the information. Give a day break in between. Uh, and that way you're really soaking things up. Because if you try to do the whole thing in a day or two, a couple days, because it's a lengthy course, uh, you might get overwhelmed. So be careful taking things a little too much, too fast, too soon. Um, you know, break it apart in little chunks and then um, and then digest it a little bit at a time. So, you know, you don't want to go into a buffet and just start eating, 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 eating. And then your stomach's really full because that's what, that's what can happen. This isn't a one or two hour movie. This is, think of it like a course, a semester. And uh, just like you would with a, um, with a course in college, you'd break it up probably in two, three months. So take your time with this. Some people are more motivated and they might be able to do it in a couple days. Uh, other people take a little more time and take and do it a couple weeks. And some people, you know, it takes them a, a month or two to really digest the concepts. And that's totally okay. You can do this at your own pace. There's nothing that says you have to do it in a, in a weekend or something like that. Because just because you do it in a weekend doesn't mean you'll digest the concepts any better or faster because you, you might take a lot more time to digest those things moving into the next few weeks. So take it at your speed, digest the information. If you need help, reach out and uh, I'd be happy to help you out. Sometimes if it's not an emergency, it may take me a couple days or a week or two to get back to you, uh, but we'll try to get back to you. And if we need to, we'll make an additional module or something like that. So thank you so much for joining me, for purchasing the course, getting with it. Get ready to really start ramping up your learning and education on butterfly spreads. We got a lot to cover. There's a lot of groundwork, a lot of basics first, and then we're really gonna head running into this stuff. So, um, Buckle up, grab yourself some water, do what you need to do, and uh, enjoy the journey, enjoy the path and the learning that you'll experience because there's quite a bit to do. And uh, if you don't enjoy the process, it'll be difficult to get through it. So thank you so much again, and uh, you know, uh, take it one step at a time. So I'll see you in the next module.